Thanks for tuning in to a brand new episode of the Miss P Show. All season I had you locked up in my studios, but today we're going wild and out. Still in the month of celebrating Women's Day, on our show today is the first female Cameroonian guest. But before we find out all about her, let's hit the streets. La femme, c'est celle qui apporte, qui doit renouveler la tête des jeunes, plus que c'est nous qui les accouchons. Si on, on est sauvage, ça veut dire qu'on les apprend les mauvaises manières d'élever la vie de demain. Quand on dit la journée internationale de la femme, c'est une valeur et une dignité qu'on donne à la femme. C'est étudier les petites comme les celles-ci là qui remontent que non, elles sont les mamans de demain. Elles ne doivent pas profiter pour faire n'importe quoi comme dans la boisson. Il y a ceux qui soulèvent. Les femmes doivent montrer la capacité de la femme. Qu'est-ce qui est la capacité de la femme La capacité de la femme, c'est éduquer nos enfants, d'avoir la force d'être comme les mamans et nous soutenir demain puisque demain on va vieillir. Ok, quand je vois le oui, je témoigne d'abord et que ça m'attire, ça me blase, je me rapproche d'elle, je me soumets, j'essaie d'entrer dans son rythme comme Franco dit, angoisse la petite, tu vois un peu. Je me mets à l'angoisser avec les quelques, quelques, quelques petits mots de toujours et de tous les jours là. Salut WhatsApp, salut, salut, tu vas où Je m'en vais au marché. Oh, je te tiens compagnie. Euh, je... ah, Vas-y, accepte. Oui, allons, allons. En tout cas, maintenant, toi, tu sais comment. Tu es élève, tu es étudiante ou quoi Je suis étudiante. Tu, es, tu, es, tu fais quel niveau C'était la deuxième année à ma fac. Ok. Moi, comme tu vois, je suis un chauffeur. Je fais les lignes, je monte, je descends, je suis pas stable. Tu vois, bon, comme tu me vois, demain, je vais aller au Nigeria. Ok, bon, je peux avoir un peu ton numéro parce qu'entre temps, je suis pressé, mon patron est en train de m'appeler. C'est comme ça qu'elle me file son numéro. Euh, chérie, bonsoir. Euh, S'il te plaît, est-ce que je peux avoir euh, une occasion de, de discuter avec toi Si un copain se change de numéro, on se donne rendez-vous. Non, après le rendez-vous, directement quand on se voit, oui, ma chérie, si tu si, 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 voulais te rencontrer depuis, c'est parce qu'ils voulaient avoir une relation amicale avec toi. Elles, elles ont souvent les petits mots là d'habitude. Quel genre de relation, quel genre d'amitié tu voulais Bon, tiens, déjà, quand on dit relation amicale, quand on parle de majeur, c'est relation. Il euh, faut qu'on t'arrive. Il y a plusieurs façons de draguer la petite. Parfois, vous la voyez passer bon. Il y a des petites appellations. Si elle répond à cela, vous l'invitez. Prendre un verre autour du verre, tu peux lui dire ce que tu penses. Déjà, devant un verre, le numéro peut passer et puis après, on, on s'appelle. Hein? <rire> si tu trouves une panthère, tu zangas tout de suite, elle t'endort, tu feras quoi. <rire> Moi j'aime ma nuit là, ses formes me plaisent et elle vit. En plus de ça, c'est un fruit. Ma puce, tu sais, j'ai toujours été ton fan avant que tu ne sois même ce que tu es. On, on a dû se voir faire ce qu'on a fait, mais... Je ne t'oublie pas, même si aujourd'hui tu es devant et que moi je suis en arrière, mais je, je suis là, j'arrive. Un coucou à toi, Manu. Une panthère, ce n'est pas son accoutement. Il y a l'accoutement, il y a sa façon de t'apostropher. Parfois, même elle t'approche en te proposant même à l'immédiat d'aller avec elle faire les, les sottises, si tu veux. <rire> Moyennant quelque chose. Thank our God, we give him praise. Every blessed day, we praise our God. With him, everything is possible. With him, there is nothing without him. Because that's my brother. All of us are in the street, but we know we believe in God. We believe that in God, and with God, everything is possible. They have forgotten us, but we know we believe in Yahweh. And with Yahweh, everything is possible. We'll go on a commercial break now, and when we come back, we'll meet our guest. On the season one of the Miss P Show, we brought you the best of entertainment from around Cameroon. 
from music to fashion, football, movies, and many more. If you can touch the mind of a person, you can touch his destiny. We had amazing guests from Nigeria and Cameroon. We shared their laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Stripper. Inspirations, and of course, we didn't forget the less privileged. Season 2 promises to be even bigger and better. Let us know who you want to see come on our hot seat. You can catch us on www.facebook.com forward slash Miss B Show and on Twitter, follow us at The Miss B Show. Goodbye. She's my first Cameroonian lady on this season. It's Sally. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having that. Thanks oh, for inviting me. Thank you too. Beautiful. I love to. I came <laughs> for the battle of short hair. <laughs> and guess what? Oh. <laughs> natural, guys. Natural. <laughs> what happened? I love the red, the green. I the know. Blue, I know the, the red. I might come back, but it was, you know, like it's very hard on hair, but. I, I'm looking for volume actually, so. So you're not going short anytime soon? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my hair because of this lady. <laughs> Anybody wants to cut their hair, please join me, please join me. She's the queen of Jawanda Magazine. How come you came up with that name, Jawanda? Well, uh, it's a pretty long story, but to, to make it short, my, my main goal at that time um, was to launch a, a streetwear line, a yeah. t-shirt line, and I wanted to, to like communicate through language, through mm -hmm. our language, mm -hmm. youth also, to, to, through young language, young urban language, yeah. and I wanted to, uh, to, to be like very forward on where I come from. At that time I was living in Paris, yeah. so I wanted to show the world that, look guys, I'm from Cameroon, and this is how we talk. The reactions you get on Joanda this far, I'm fairly sure you didn't expect that much. I didn't expect anything at all. I mean, none of it. What happened all these years, like it's been like six years now almost, mm -hmm. and I never expected. I mean, I, I, as I told you, I wanted to launch a, a street, I mean, I mean a, like a t-shirt line. Right. So a streetwear uh, clothing line, and I never pictured myself having a, an online magazine. So it, it's still a surprise. Mm -hmm. Even if I know, okay, it, I mean, it's the process of, it's the fruit of work and you know dedication and 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 talent and and professionalism. Mm -hmm. But still, it wasn't a plan. It wasn't something that I dreamt of. Prior to Jawanda, were you always on the internet? No, 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 at all. I, I've always had a thing for internet. I always, you know, had things for technology, computers, video games. I've always been like a geek uh, my whole childhood. Tomboy. I wasn't a real tomboy, but I don't know. Uh, my, my father used to to buy me video games, uh, uh, you know, comics about, yeah. you know, dun dun. So I had that. I, w I was I was saying to my cousin last time I wasn't raised as a girl, like you're okay, a you're girl. girl. Yeah, no, it's just you're a kid and you can do whatever you. So I guess it, I, I don't have that difference in my head. Obviously, I'm a woman, but uh, so in terms of what you can do, I don't mm -hmm. have that spirit of okay, you, you can do this because you're a girl and you can do this because, because you're a man. Important. Yeah. So, so yeah, so. Like, I, I really didn't um, think about, okay, I was in the internet uh, more of as a hobby or interest, mm -hmm. but never thought that it would be a business. <laughs> but in the end, when I look back, it's, it's, it has a logic. It doesn't surprise me anymore in the end. But at that time, no, I was more in fashion mm -hmm. um, and in real, like, let's say, um, uh, real life business, so in fashion, we were more yeah, fashion oriented. Then. Yeah, fashion, and so yeah, no, I wasn't at all uh, about internet, but I used to, you know. So through the years, in your experience, how do you think the internet influences the African youth generation, precisely the Cameroonian youth generation? Do you think we use the internet the way we're supposed to? Um, I think we use it a lot, and more and more. 
I think it, it's shaping a lot of, on how we think, how we dream, what we dream about, and how we picture ourselves, what we see of the world. So definitely it shape our, um, our vision. Do we use it as we should? I don't think we even use it as we should. I don't think we actually use it um, like mm -hmm. to the fullest. Yeah. You can see some glistening in her eyes. She speaks <laughs> with so much passion about the internet. You know, I was on a course a couple of weeks ago and what they thought about passion was this. When somebody speaks about something they're passionate about, they engage you. <laughs> yes. And I got really engaged and I'm like, okay, internet. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Am I concentrated on Celine talking about internet? Yes. That's real passion. What would be an internet miracle for you for Cameroon in, let's say, six months? That could happen in six months? Huh. In Cameroon? In Cameroon? <laughs> I'm not going to pretend I can forecast miracles. Yes. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I, I don't... I don't know. Maybe, um... Great connection might be still a miracle. I mean, 4G. See, so <laughs> what I would say is that okay, miracle would be that it would be in every every Cameroonian uh, household in like overnight. When I came back a few years ago, mm -hmm. I mean, I I struggled a lot to just I like know, <laughs> work on. No, your folks. So that should count for a lot of easy access. <laughs> I struggle like just Selene, struggle will not exist in your world. No, we, all, we all know that. No, no, no. What? Why? What were why? some of the difficult? What were the, some of the difficulties you had to face because of that name? Because I'm um, sure we all feel like it's only benefits you can get. No, well, I, I won't lie. It's mm -hmm. sometimes benefits because I have a prior, uh, 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 you know, great man yeah. uh, who, who has who has a legacy going on. So definitely it has positive, uh, you know, I wouldn't call it shadow, but it has a positive aura. I would call it more yeah, as an aura. Right, right. And obviously it comes also with negativity because people think they figured it all out. Mm -hmm. Like they figured it, they figured you all out. Because of the name. Because of the name. But we're, we're unique individuals. I'm not my grandfather. I'm not my father. I'm not my mother. I'm me. I'm myself. But generally, they're, they're they're positively surprised because <laughs> I can't help but notice the broad smile. <laughs> yeah, I like that little effect of mine, that special effect of mine, because I already know sometimes, not all the time, yeah. but sometimes I can identify people coming in. And, okay, they think they know you. They think you know, and even sometimes acting up. Yeah. You know, being pretending or thinking that I'm on the way, mm -hmm. so being a little bit snobbish, but I'm not a snob person, so I'm like, okay, uh, you don't need that with me, guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm real, not. I'm real. not. I'm not. I'm not. Everybody says they're not. So no, I'm would not. You, would you say it's a case of you're, you're closer to the people you're close to and more open to the people you're close to rather than just everybody thinking you're snobbish because you carry yourself in a certain Actually, way? I don't mind people thinking that I'm snob because it, it, it get it. It you know it prevents me with because I, to me when you're not smart that's when you're gonna you're not gonna mind even finding your own opinion yeah. on something on someone yeah, so I'm like okay you know what good riddance you know. have you always been this outspoken you know if you say your mind and put it out the way you feel yes. because on on on, <laughs> on Joanna you do that you know I, you put I, out your criticisms from the heart I think I've read a few articles I'm like okay this comes from within as compared to yeah. just to please yeah right? no no actually I've always been like that how do you handle the criticisms of your critics is that right the critics of your yeah sorry. because that's what we tend to do yeah. <laughs> instead of maybe uh, criticizing my point of view, they would criticize the fact that I criticize, yeah. you know, instead of, okay, coming with a point, a different mm -hmm. point, or opposite point, okay, no, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't agree with this, my point of view is this, no, it's never that, it's always, why did you say this, why do you think? You talked about fashion, yes. you studied fashion design. Yeah, I was, I'm actually a designer, I mean, I went to school, mm -hmm. to, so I got a degree uh, in Montreal. Yeah at the International Academy of Design in Montreal. Okay. And uh, 
I wanted to launch a brand one day. That's why I got in after my business school. Yeah. That's what I got into fashion. But I wasn't I wasn't actually really fitted to work in the fashion industry. Okay. So uh, I'm not into fashion now. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's definitely a passion of mine. Is Still this something you think you're going to come back to? Oh, well, shortly. definitely, definitely, because kind of in another way, I, mm -hmm. I've I've gotten to fashion a little bit because of uh, we launched uh, a bit of a of a e-commerce. Okay. Uh, field also yeah. uh, at Joanda, mm -hmm. so with the Club Wondastic. So it's another platform that I created okay. last year. What's that about? It's about it's a lifestyle a lifestyle club, mm -hmm. a lifestyle brand, uh, a, a club of brands, you know, of lifestyle brands. Yes. So um, so the purpose of it is to to sell you know different brands and to bring fashion or any lifestyle brand mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to, to our readers actually. So definitely we started a bit with, you know, going back into selling, um, you know, young upcoming designers, Cameroonian designers. So that's my way for now of, you know, I want to know more about yours. <laughs> You've been jumping away from that all along, but I'm really interested to know what you would like to do in terms of design, fashion designing and all. Would you go for like the evening dresses? Would you go for an edgy look? Um, I def I'm definitely fan a great fan of dresses. Okay. So I guess I would go into dresses, but a an everyday okay. kind of... Something more casual. Not necessarily casual. Okay. But the, you know, like not the red carpet kind of dresses. Obviously. Or we could, obviously, but more of a... An everyday work, or uh, you know, still hot and stuff. Not necessarily casual, yeah, casual, yeah, but you know, little, little uh, <laughs> swag and stuff. So yeah, I'm tempted to I ask guess. you something, right? Um, you know, looking at African fashion, mm -hmm. how it's evolved through the years, yes. and how Cameroonian fashion should be evolving. That's my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? I think that we could be further than where we are yeah. because Cameroonian has great talents. We have a great culture because so diverse. Mm -hmm. So we should be able to have so much inspiration, even in fashion. Mm -hmm. So definitely in terms of, um, of creativity, yeah. we should be very, you know, very, very far. Uh, professionally also, um, I guess it's still something that people do not see as a as a business yeah. like that could you know create jobs and create value and revenue, which is surprising because it's a whole industry in On other countries. Own. Something as simple as style if we don't have. Yeah, and 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 I, what I what I what I used to say yeah. is that we we don't walk we're not naked. We'll always need clothes we'll always. unless we change culture, you know? Exactly. We'll always need clothes. I so would definitely not like to imagine that. <laughs> so definitely it's something uh -huh. like food we'll always need to exactly. to be dressed. Our president said something about getting to agriculture. And our youth took it really badly, but come on guys, there's a lot of money in there. I, I'm I'm a goer for agriculture, for agribusiness. Yeah. It's like I might even go in it someday, that's for sure. You yeah. jumped from one field internet to yes. agriculture to fashion, yeah. which means, you know, we can do so much. Definitely. And um, I'm sad to say this to an extent because I've been shopping around for a Cameroonian lady who's outspoken. And mm -hmm. throughout my season, it's been a challenge, mm -hmm. you know, to find someone of our generation or to find ladies, let me not say someone, to find ladies of our generation. Mm -hmm who are outspoken and who are mm -hmm. willing to take risks, mm -hmm. you know. And then when I, you know, decided to do this with you, I was like, okay, perfect. She's not afraid to share her mind and see uh -huh. what she thinks. But why don't we really put ourselves to it? Is there a reason why Cameroonian ladies, I won't say so much for the guys because I'm a woman, I'll speak mm -hmm. for the ladies, mm -hmm. but is there a reason why Cameroonian ladies are so, you know, few steps backwards? I think that we, we do stuff. We do, we're very strong and we do stuff, but we... 
we might not showcase it enough. Mm -hmm. We ha we lack of role models. Mm -hmm. We lack of success stories. Not that it don't exist, but we don't show them. Mm -hmm. So we don't show examples to young girls, telling them that, see, that's a Cameroonian lady, woman, who did this, yeah. who did that, yeah. and you can be like her. Because I'm sorry, all the examples that we have right now are not the best that I would want my kids to, to, follow. to, to follow. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm not judging anybody, but I, I would, I, but to see that, it's, it shows also that girls want to have role models. So at this point, they can, they'll go with anything. Even, you know, look at uh, these Bayam Salam. They're like business owners. They're like CEOs. They're CEOs, you see, because without them, we don't eat. No, 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 no. We, <laughs> we don't, don't eat. We don't. So it's, it's a full blown business on its own. See? So we don't value them enough. Probably not very enough. modern, but. We don't value them enough. Mm -hmm. We see them, you know, at the market with their clothes, maybe very modest. But without these ladies, the country is like, <laughs> you know, abandoned. It's, not, it's nothing, yeah. It's nothing. But they are CEOs. Those ladies, they, they run a company. A small company, but it's a company, mm -hmm. and we don't value that enough. Those ladies at the call box, they're CEOs. They're CEOs. They're entrepreneurs, and we don't we don't show them mm -hmm. as business people. So, and it's something that you know a young person could do. So we we talk about you know dreaming and stuff. It's good to dream, but sometimes the dream is not that complicated. Sometimes it's very simple, and it's very actually near to us. Yeah. So. So to answer your question, yeah, so it's not that we don't, it's not that we actually step, you know, behind or it's just that we don't show enough the ladies who accomplish mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's to say that, no, we're strong, we're struggling, we're doers, but we need, that's why at Jawanda Magazine, we try to show as much as we can mm -hmm. on these incredible people's women and men doing stuff very simply, yeah. very, you know, with belief, with yeah. dedication. And that's our little part that we're trying to play, you know, our role that I, I gave us, you know. Perfect. <laughs> so what's in store for you next? What should we be looking forward to in the near future? More websites <laughs> in fields okay. that you won't maybe imagine. <laughs> Tell me more. I can't, but I'll, Celine, you can't I, do I'll this. be glad to come you back me. and tell more about it. Uh, but, uh, okay. Yeah, so more websites this year. Yeah, more websites. Perfect. Yeah, we're expanding a little. If you had to share a word of positivity and a word of encouragement to our youths today, what would that be? Uh, I would say dream, because from... The dream comes the reality. Yeah. Uh, before doing something, you, you have to picture it. You have to want it. You have to long for it. And don't ever let others tell you that you're, you're a dreamer. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing to be a dreamer. It's a good thing. As long as it, it doesn't remain a dream. And then after... As long as you work hard at it. Yeah, after dreaming, you wake up and you go <laughs> and you do. That's when the dream is, you know, is good. Uh -huh. But don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do anything. Mm-hmm. Life is not easy. Success is not easy. It doesn't come easily. There's no place on earth where you have a place that you, you'll be like, okay, go there and oh, you're gonna go there, it's gonna be easy. Everything's no. gonna be perfect. No, there's no place. So it just that saddens me when youth are like so desperate, you know, at coming like at a certain age, they get so desperate because, you know, overwhelmed with so much difficulties. Yeah. And I, I get that, I understand that, but if you if you if you let yourself get dragged into you know despair and that's the end that's the end of mm -hmm. of you so never give up you know like even if you fall just always stand up just always pick yourself up yeah on. don't don't give up your dreams just work work because one thing is sure that always when you work you'll always have something you'll always the results will always show yeah. somehow so and i guess that that first example was given to me by my grandfather i guess because he came from nothing so i guess that from a very young age i, I had that culture of mm -hmm. coming from nothing and achieving the greatest yeah. 
And yeah, it was a different time, of course. But at that time, what would they think? They were coming from independ independence and stuff. They wouldn't think at that time you, that you could mm -hmm, have rich mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people, you know? So it's different times, different difficulties, different struggle, but always struggle. Yes, yeah, so always fight hard. For always yourself. fight. Yeah, that's what I would say. Before I leave Celine Go, um, she's very interesting. A lot of things going on on her page, on her website. Check her out on social media at Celine Photo for my account. So, like, even on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, for what I do, Rwanda Magazine, Club Wanda Stick. And you'll stay tuned for the other website who are coming up very soon. And stay tuned for me having my hair back. <laughs> yeah, they're growing. They're growing. This was definitely a fun episode with women in Never Get Born. And Talia, of course, was one heck of a character. Until next time, check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash The Miss Show and on Twitter at The Miss Show. If you're on Instagram, I am at Miss Happy. I'm Miss and I'm Sissy. Goodbye.